Uh, you, you, you said that uh, openness to uh, new ideas and, and surprises in your research uh, uh, is really kind of the spirit you want to encourage in uh, doctoral students. Uh, could you share um, one of your own experiences where you've found out something surprising? Uh, yeah, surprisingly disappointing. <laughs> Uh, you know, I did an article uh, with a, a bunch of people back in uh, 2007. Uh, it was uh, about school readiness, and it looked at um, the prediction of the kinds of um, capacities that kids had coming into school, uh, their literacy, their math, um, their socio-emotional skills, um, and we were wondering what would predict uh, performance in school years later. Right, and there was a camp of uh, developmental psychologists that uh, thought, oh, socio-emotional uh, behaviors are going to be the most important. You really want a child who's able to sit still in a classroom, engage, and that's what kindergarten teachers say too. They they don't care about letters and numbers. Um, they'll they'll teach those things, right? They just want someone who's ready to ready to learn. Um, but it turned out that um, what was most predictive was um, were the concrete skills, the math and literacy skills, and it looked like they were going to have long-term uh, effects. Uh, but this was this wasn't experimental. It was just uh, it was correlation, and you try to control for what you can. Um, but in working with Drew Bailey, um, that who I mentioned before. Um, if you actually have an experiment that boosts math skills by a lot um, and then track kids out, uh, you find they quickly fade. The impacts mm -hmm. quickly fade. It's this catch-up we talked about earlier. Um, so, uh, you know, I was really quite wrong. And uh, that article is my most cited article. It's got over 3,000 citations. and. Um, and we didn't get it right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, you know, I'm um, one of the things I warn uh, junior colleagues: don't lock yourself into positions on mm -hmm. things. Always be open for um, changing your mind. And you know, if things come along that really require you to change your mind, then that should be an easy thing for you to do. And uh, that that was the case here. So it was kind of fun to write this second article saying, oh, Duncan et al. said this and this, but, uh, but they're clearly wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems to me the, the core values of social science is that uh, all our knowledge is imperfect, limited, our, our methods are imperfect, limited, flawed, and, uh, and so our findings are always provisional. And, uh, right. It doesn't always work that way, yeah. but um, that's the way it should be.